Hey everyone, here we are in front of Edinburgh's Union Canal and I'm here to talk to you about all the releases we put into RMM this past month. We have an update to Automation Manager. This is the drag and drop interface that allows you to build custom PowerShell scripts for automated tasks and script checks. It's a real nice tool and we've enhanced it with a whole series of VMware objects. So you can now more easily create powerful VMware custom scripts through the interface. To take advantage, just go to the settings drop down menu look for the script manager uh, option in the list and then in that dialog top right you can download uh, automation manager 215 and this gives you the latest enhancements and upgrades to the script builder we have a whole series of updates also to patch management we've been steadily improving the patch management management workflow so that you can now deploy patches across clients and devices uh, more robustly we have a new option that will show you the list of devices for a patch and that patch's particular status. So if you have a patch uh, missing on five devices, we'll now show you the list of five devices. There's also an update to show you more clearly what the current status is of a particular patch and what you're about to change it to. We're making these enhancements so that we're able to retire the now legacy approval policy dialogue. Please start using the new management workflow, or the updated management workflow dialogue. In the not too distant future, we'll retire the old one. The management workflow dialogue has all the functionality of the old one, but it's more performance and has some enhancements uh, that make it a, a better workflow for you. We have an update to agents. I'll quickly run through these. There's a new 1099 GA agent with several improvements there. Please take advantage, update your devices to the latest GA agents. We have a new RC agent for Windows, the 10910, with some improvements there to the take control install process with some additional login to help our customer support team. So try that agent out, feedback if there's anything. We'll look to make that GA in the not too distant future. And then there's a Mac agent 341, a new RC there as well. Test that one out also. Those are all the updates that we have for you in the past month. More to come, more in the works, of course. To keep up to date, subscribe to the SolarWinds MSP status blog. This is how you can stay up to date with all the updates that we're putting out as they come through into production on a weekly basis. And we look forward to updating you again in a month's time. Thanks.